You're now watching a clip from the Mark West Sports Podcast. Now, the next game, after the rest of the games ain't really too, too, too interesting. Um, of course, you got the, the uh, Washington uh, Red football team. You got the Giants. Uh, I don't really see how, ain't really nothing catching me. Um, got the Bengals and the Bears. I uh, ain't really catching me. So for me, yeah. I, I think the best next best game is the Rams and the Colts. You know, because the Rams, um, you got Matt Stafford. I mean, one week, one week playing uh, for his brand new team, and he had two fifty yard um, plays. You know, and I think that team last year. I think her, earlier I heard they only had two fifty yard plays the whole year. So you That's changing, nice. yeah. So you changing quarterbacks, knowing that you already got um, practically, if not one of the best corners in the game, you got if not the best defensive tackle in the game. Um, everybody else know they roll and looks great, you know. Um, and now you finally got a decent quarterback, somebody that probably could have won a Super Bowl if he was not in Detroit his whole damn career. You know what I'm saying? So um, you look at that team and I, I get the whole package uh, when I see him. But then, you know, you got the Colts. The Colts, again, another team that I felt um, should have been in um, the right direction right now. I think they lost last week. Yeah, they lost last week, you know. Um, and I said that they had a – Balanced offense and a balanced defense. They had a great O line, and I don't think that you're gonna get that going against that defense. They're gonna go ahead and give Carson Wentz foots down his throat, his back. They're gonna be trying to break him, and and hopefully he can manage. Um, of course, you know he's a brand new quarterback on that team, so. Um, I'm not sure how much of a rapport he has with the team and the, field, the team has with him as far as with the O-line. Um, but that's, there's not too many defenses that are like the Chicago's. That's like the Rams. And this is what you're getting right now. Who are you going to throw the ball to? You're not throwing the Ramsey side. If they didn't want to throw the Xavier Howard side, why are you going to throw the uh, on Ramsey side? Ramsey, I think, is... 1A, 1B with, with, with Xavier Howard. So you're not throwing there. Yeah. I mean, how are you going to run on that team? I mean, you really going to run against Donald? Like, I think I see Donald in the backfield all day, to be honest with you. So for me, I think it's going to be uh, one of the games that, that, that you normally would see with the Detroit Lions when it comes to offenses, when it comes to scores, because Matt Stafford, he loves bombing people. Yeah. And like I said, you know, one game, 250 yards on, on, on play. So me, not, not normally when you think of the Rams, you're not thinking about the um, high powered offense, but now you got to. So my score can't even be 21. It can't even be 24. It has to be in the 30s because that's what he do. He does what Drew Brees does. Yeah. He does yeah, what it do. So for me, I really do see um, the Rams winning early. Like this is, you know, you know, like they're going to win this early. I think, you know, the Colts going to give a fight. But um, that offensive power that, that Stafford gives you in that quarterback, I think it's going to be 34, 38 to 24. Yeah, that's pretty much kind of the score I was going to say, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say 34-16, you know. Okay. Because um, I feel the same way. I, I, I saw some of that uh, Sunday night game against the Bears, and I was like, yo, the Rams look legit. They look like for real. Like, finally, I think the coach for, for the Rams was just like, you know what? I'm tired of goofing with this dude goof. Let me get a veteran <laughs> that I know could slang it. You know, I ain't got to train this – guy it seemed like he was been training goof for the past few years and was hoping he could be somebody and now he already has somebody who who's been on a you know, team for like pretty much his whole career 
you know, like, because besides Megatron, who has, who has Matt Stafford really had? And in the NFL, they, they scheme around Megatron. Of course, Megatron's going to get his points sometimes. But, like, after that, who did they ever really have on that team? Nobody. So I'm, I'm kind of happy for Matt Stafford to finally be on a team that's actually good. You got Cooper Cup and, and Robert Woods as your receivers. Um, and that defense, we already know Aaron Donald. We already know about Jalen Ramsey, like you alluded to. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a very similar game uh, from, from what you just explained. And watch out for the Rams, though. I, I just think the Rams are finally going to be a team that – You don't want to you know, play. Just like that Super Bowl <laughs> year with Goof. Like, you know, looking back at it, like, wow, it's a miracle that he actually took this team to the Super Bowl. Of course, yep. they got – you know, they got beat by the Patriots in the Super Bowl, but like the fact that you got Matthew Stafford out there now who who used to always come back and 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 win games for the Lions when they were clearly not the better team. So now even when they do get down, you still have a chance to win the game because you got Matthew Stafford as your QB. So yeah, I definitely agree 100 percent There's probably one more game that I would I would want to see. But this game to me is more about the coaches, man. Like the Raiders and the Steelers. You know.